Mm. Rain coming down in sheets so intense you can barely see the roads and floods quickly swamping our streets. This is an urgent trend that our meteorologists in Severe Weather Center 13 are closely following, starting with meteorologist, chief meteorologist, in fact, Andrew Humphrey. Well, Darcy and Daryl, we're watching all this happen right now. Historic flooding playing out in real time. First in New York, seven and a half inches of rain in six hours. Rain swept through streets, sinking cars. Let's move immediately east now to Vermont. Up to eight inches of rain came down so quickly it damaged homes, garages, and left families standing on their porches as rivers raced by. And we're tracking the same trend overseas. In India, watch this rescue effort as climbers traverse over raging waters to that checkered building that you see, now in the middle of a raging river. 22 people unfortunately were killed in floods over there. And now to Louisville, Mississippi, a little bit closer to home, there's a flash flood emergency and flood concerns. These pictures are from earlier today after 6 to 12 inches of rain fell, sinking cars and homes. And of course, we've been dealing with severe storms and flooding right here in Memphis and here in the Mid-South. So what's been behind this trend? Our meteorologist Matt Urasavik is, is examining new flood research in this Severe Weather Center 13 investigation. A drainage ditch behind homes in Germantown turned into a torrent. It filled yards and Buzzy Bamey's home. It's literally like a lake and, I, and all of a sudden I'm walking in my yard inside of my house there and I'm, I'm knee deep in water and, you know, very frustrated. This wasn't a tropical deluge or even an unusually intense storm, just a typical summer storm on the 4th of July. I tracked rainfall rates of two and a half inches per hour. This is turned into the summer of the storm. Afternoon thunderstorms wreaked havoc, knocking trees down and power out across the Mid-South. New research coming into Severe Weather Center 13 shows our storms may be growing more intense and more likely to flood our communities. What was once known as a one in a hundred year storm is now closer to a one in 73 year storm in Shelby County and one in 61 year in Crittenden County. We're seeing these, these severe events. They're more likely and when they do come, they're more severe. I spoke one-on-one -on -one with Dr. Jeremy Porter. He's the head of climate implications for First Street Foundation, a leading research agency studying the climate. It's all driven by the fact that we have this uh, warmer air temperature, warmer sea surface temperature. The warmer air can hold more water. And because it can hold more water, we're seeing not necessarily more precipitation across the country, but we're seeing it all come at one time. We all know how hot this summer has been. As our climate warms, every degree increase in temperature equals a 7% increase in water vapor. More moisture means more rain. And we're seeing it play out again and again. In April, a supercell storm sat over Fort Lauderdale, Florida and dropped 25 inches of rain. Four feet of flood water, something like you've never seen before. A one in 1,000 year flood event means a flood so rare it only has a chance of one in 1,000 of forming in any given year. Last year, we saw five of them across the country. And that, you know, that's, that's uh, almost unheard of to have five separate one in a thousand year events that have occurred. Including central Mississippi, which saw a foot of rain in a single day, this caused the Pearl River to flood and damage a water treatment plant, which caused a water crisis in Jackson, Mississippi. Get out now. Get out as soon as possible. That infrastructure damage is one of the primary reasons behind this new research. Right now, to assess flood risk, we rely on outdated maps by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, which don't account for current rain rates. And Buzzy Bamey has seen the rain grow more intense over time. We have PTSD for floods, because every, every time we see the weather forecast on Fox 13 and they say rain, or heavy rain or thunderstorms, we just start sweating bullets. Another goal of the First Street study, flood insurance. An estimated 12 million Americans are not insured right now, but based on new data, they should be, including Buzzy. 
now stuck paying for a service to clean his home from flood damage. And they gave us a very reasonable estimate of what it was going to be, but still it's a lot of money. Another major factor out of this study is it predicts a 42% increase in precipitation across the Midwest, and all of that feeds into the Mississippi River and could potentially lead to more floods coming downstream right past us here in Memphis. Along the Mississippi River in downtown Memphis, I'm Fox 13 meteorologist Matt Urasavik. If any of you have dealt with floods in your home, it is the absolute worse yes. because you're dealing with damage, you're dealing with lost mementos, you're dealing with mold, mold growing on your walls. It is the worst. So I do Been understand that pain for this poor man. And that's where the rubber meets the road, right? Yeah. I mean, we hear about cat catastrophic weather events that are happening in other places in the world, other mm -hmm. places in the country. Slowly but surely, it hits closer to home or hits exactly at home. Changing weather, changing climate, and more documented evidence that it leads to more weather disasters, including flooding. Of course, with team investigations just like this, we here at Severe Weather Center 13 have got you covered in documenting these events, but helping you prepare for them so you know what to do in order to stay safe.